it's Dr. Phil, and welcome to my show. Today, I'm going to be interviewing the Curtis Brothers. You know when we love them? Let's give a round of applause for Soda Pop, Dairy, and Pony Boy. Hi, come on in, come on in. Hi, and welcome to the show. So, I know you guys live by yourself. Um, what's it, what's it like living together? I know it must be really hard. Yeah, I mean, when our parents died, it really complicated things, but we've always been a really close family. Their death made me the unofficial man of the house, but... <laughs> But I, it's good living with them. I care for them, and I even didn't go to college to keep caring for them. It's tough, but they know I love them. I had to drop out of school and start working at a gas station to help make money for my family. But I still have my brothers around and the gang, so it's pretty good. But I miss my mom and dad. Fascinating. You must be proud of your big, strong boys. So, Pony Boy, what's it like living with your family? Well, you know, sometimes it's hard, but I love them, and I wouldn't want to live with anyone else. Dari's pretty strict on us sometimes, but we get to eat chocolate cake, so it's all good. Fascinating. So, what was your biggest struggles as a family? I did hit Pony Boy once. I didn't mean to, but he needed to be punished. I really regretted it, though, after he ran away. The events that happened after this we faced as a family. Derry and Pony Boy are finally starting to get along. They don't argue that much anymore. When Pony Boy ran away after Derry hit him, we it was a struggle and we didn't sleep for a while, but we're getting through it together. I'm glad you're getting through it. So I also ran away when Derry hit me from the from a murder I was partially involved in. But then I ended up being in the hospital after saving some kids in a church fire. Dari and Soda helped me get through it and all my injuries. One last question before we leave. If you could say one statement about your family, what would it be? Family isn't always perfect. But we always get through our issues together. I second that. Thank you. Thank you for your time to get um, here. So let's hear another round of applause for the Curtis boys. Dr. Phil coming back to you live from LA. Here we are with Johnny Cade, a close friend of the Curtis brothers. Hey Johnny. Hi Phil. Nice to meet you. Let's get straight to the point. How's your family life at home? I mean, family was pretty rough. I mean, but it, it strengthens me up. I think the alcohol is probably a big factor in how they're always, you know, being mean to me, but like, you know, the gang's always there for me. So, oh, Johnny, how's your relationship with the gang? Good. They're like my family to me. It's they're more to, to they're more of a family to me than my parents will ever be. It's great that you have a relationship like that. Well, we gotta wrap things up. So, if you had one more comment to say about family in, in general, what would it be? You know, family's family, but family doesn't have to be blood related. I mean, my gang is more of a family to me than anyone else will ever be. Awesome. Well, we gotta go now. But thanks for having. Thanks for coming on the show and give the gang a big hello from me. You're well, Phil. And last but not least, let's give a big warm welcome to Bob, coming live to you from the Dr. Phil Show. Hi, Phil. It's nice to be here. Nice to have you. I'm going to get straight to the point. Describe your family life. Cool. My parents are nice, and we have a lot of money. That's good. How would you describe yourselves to the greasers, like the ones we had on the show before, Johnny and the Curtis brothers? Well, they're people just like the socials are, but we're richer, and we have more money, and we're smarter, and we're better looking. What would you say would be some of your family issues, if you had any at all, being a soch? family has a lot of money, so we don't have any 
issues, really. They're good people, and my parents don't nag or anything, so life is pretty good. Are you happy, Bob? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Well, Phil, to be perfectly honest, I've always wanted my parents to say no to me. At least once. They always blame themselves instead of me when I do wrong things. I'm not as good a guy as I look. I'm sure there's a nice boy under all that cologne you're wearing. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to mention about family? Yes. Just because my family has a lot of money doesn't mean that we're perfect. Well, not all families are perfect. At least mine isn't. I can definitely agree with that, Bob. Thanks for coming. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. But before we wrap it up, let's review some of the things we learned today. You and the audience. Family isn't perfect. Good. You over there. Family doesn't have to be blood related. Very nice. Thank you for the show and we hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye and good night. Swagger Jagger, we're starting. <laughs> Um, we love you! Uh, for Bob, coming live to you from the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, did you flip me off?